Alrighty everyone, this is Thunder Drago here bringing you another Brave Frontier video. I hope you did catch my summons video yesterday. It was uh, fun, I should say. Um, hope you did catch it. So today we're going to do an evolution video. So, it's not going to be a long one, but I have worked long and hard. Not really, but still. I've worked enough to evolutionize some of those units I got yesterday. Not soul drag now. 200% boost to attack. Fire types. Nice. Okay, let's go to the next one. Percent thirty boost to offense. Okay, got a few more. Then, of course, I'm gonna work up. Excuse me, there were uh, first limit level. percent boost to all permanents of light types. Nice. Good thing I've been saving up a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> Hundred percent boost to attack, defense, mass HP, and thirty percent normally boost. Nice. All right, guys. Now it is time to work on. The other things. Okay. Yeah, fairly good. Yeah, get the ultimate break burst. Okay. It says true dragon force, 25% damage rich from fire and earth types, basis permanent limits of 130,000, 2% damage reduction as huge max HP boost effect for self to BBSB when attack boosting spirits equipped. Alright, encryption blade level 4, 20, 27 combo massive attack, by attack on single foe, damage relative remaining HP. As defense annoying effect to attack for three turns, greatly boost max HP as one extra action, but on the same turn it fills on BB gauge to max. Alright. Level 5. 37 combo powerful fire attack on all foes, damage relative to remaining HP. 4 combo massive fire attack on single foe, damage re relative to remaining HP. Normally boost attack defense recovery relative to HP for three turns, boost critical damage of fire attacks for three turns. Silly boost on attack, defense recovery for 3 turns, and an obviously boost on critical hit rate, and spark damage for 3 turns. Alright. Crimson Phoenix Blade Max. 40% for 
for the combo massive attack on all foes, damage relative to remaining HP. For combo massive fire attack on single foe, damage re relative to remaining HP. Notably boost critical damage for three turns, notably boost max HP. Notably boost attack defense recovery relative to max HP for three turns, and notably boost damage reduction for three turns. Sweet! Alrighty. Now the reason I'm doing this is because they released the collab dungeon events. So I definitely want to uh, get them up where I can use them. So. Okay. Iron Guard Sword level 4. Level combo powerful attack. Enemies boost an own critical hit rate, damage relative to remaining HP. Which is present for one turn as Pablo Evasion to self for three turns. Boost damage reduction when guarding for three turns negates critical and element damage for three turns to boost on max HP. Alright. Level 5. Uh, 14 combo massive attack on all foes. Strongly boost on critical hit rate, damage relative to remain. HP, 3 combo attack, Arthur single 4, because that if you use boost max damage, 50% damage reduction for 3 turns, highly boost defense recovery to attack for 3 turns, and 100% boost to critical damage for 3 turns. He ain't got the extra skill yet. Okay, so, I think we just need a 4 of these. I haven't got Mavis yet, I don't know when we're going to get her. Okay, now he has the Steel Dragon. 25% damage reduction for the Earth Thunder types when damage reducing spells equipped. Greatly restores HP for 3 turns when guarding for all allies. 50% of damage for all allies as Earth Shield for 3 turns effect to Boo Boo Brave Burst, Super Brave Burst and negates rock damage. Iron Guard Sword Max, 16 combo attack, massive earth attack on all fours, limited boost soul and critical hit rate, damage relative to remaining HP, 3 combo earth attack on single foe, 25% active pills on earth thunder types, 100% damage reduction from all element types for 3 turns, holy cow, enormously boost defense relative to attack for 3 turns and 100% damage reduction for 3 turns and enormous boost max, that's pretty cool, alright. Alright, let's do Wendy. Yeah, I'm not gonna load guys, so don't worry about that. Sky Drill for level 4. 15 combo light attack on all foes. Here's three boost attacks, defensive recovery for 3 turns. Normally boost critical hit rate for 3 turns. Probability of activating Ray Burst, Super Burst, Burst, Ultra Bar was twice for 2 turns. Okay. Hugely restore HP. Normally boost BB gauge and removes all status estimate and attack defense reduction. What? A Sky Drill level 5. 18 combo powerful light attack on all foes. Damage relative to remaining HP. 5 combo massive light attack on single fold, damage relative to remaining HP. Usually boost attack defense recovery for 3 turns, his number boost critical hit rate, and brave burst attack and spark damage for 3 turns boost spark damage. Okay. Okay, so.
point of search. So you get 50% boost to attack defense each turn up to 4 turns. For all allies, greatly boost light out of damage, greatly restores HP each turn, and adds prob evasion for 2 turns effect to SP. SP. That's actually pretty cool. Sky Drill Max, 21 combo massive light attack on all foes, number to boost attack defense, recovery critical hit rate, and spark damage for 3 turns, enormously spark vulnerability infliction for 3 turns, activates SP, BBS, BB, Ultra Bay Burst, all that stuff, twice for 2 turns, and purges leader skills and effect skills disable effect from all allies. Alrighty. So now, how many of those do I have? I still have Lucy to do, so give me one second. Oh, okay. I know what to do here. I just like to do these guys, uh, these for everyone because, uh, really, if you want them, that's okay. If not, that's okay too. Should be enough right there. Okay, but uh, really, I like just like to help everyone out because if you watch these videos, maybe you're thinking about uh, getting these units. That's just to let you know if it's really worth it. And I let each of you decide that. I'm not here to influence anything. I'm just here to give you the facts and let you see for yourself. That was enough to get everything good. Okay. Legendary Celestial Mage. Negates elemental damage for all allies. Considerably raises normal hit amount. Boosts all parameters accordingly. 10% when several key is equipped. 15% when gold key is equipped. 20% when diamond key. And adds all elements to attack for 3 turns to BBSB when diamond key is equipped. Wow, she's not that bad. Uranometria, 19 combo powerful light attack on all foes, 10 combo powerful light attack on dark types, huge boost attack defense recovery for 3 turns, slight damage reduction for moral element tones for 1 turn, and slightly boost turbo drive gauge. Level 5, 25% combo attack light attack on all foes, 10 combo powerful light attacks on dark types, boost critical attack of light types for 3 turns, Boost spark damage of light type for 3 turns. Usually boost light element damage for 3 turns and spark vulnerability inflicted for 2 turns. The max level. 28 combo massive light attack on all foes. 10 massive light attack on dark types. Enormously boost critical damage for 3 turns. Enormously boost light elemental damage for 3 turns and enormously damage reduction from dark types. Cool. So, I got all that taken care of. Now, Okay. This is one squad I have. This is one squad I have. No. Nope, you're being replaced, buddy. Uh, because I don't know what's best yet, I'm going to use this guy. Because. No, that's the wrong one. So this one. No, it's this one. I get it right in a minute, guys. It's this one. Because he does a 100% boost to all parameters. Yay! So he's pretty good. I got him set up pretty good. So he's going to be my leader. And then we're going to put... What type is he? Is he a guardian? He's an anima. I will put... Gajio. Break. I'll put him up front. I'm going to put the two girls in the back. Me and Lucy. 
And this is going to be my collab dungeon. I am going to go back and look them up. Um, if y'all want to see me do the dungeon, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I don't mind uh, recording that if that's something y'all want to see. Uh, they can be quite difficult. <laughs> so if y'all do want that, I'm not going to promise I'm going to win. But it's all fun and games. And also, as an added bonus, I have uh, created a Twitter and Instagram account for my gaming channel. So I will make sure to post those in the comment with a link. So if you do want to uh, join me there, that's fine as well. It is, uh, you know, it's just something we can keep in touch. And I may eventually do some giveaways. Not too sure what yet. So uh, just keep that in mind. And this is Slim Drago, and everyone enjoy your day.